Hello, can you guys hear me? What's up? Hello, can you guys hear oh, wait. Me? What's up? Hold on, I hear an echo. I gotta exit that. Okay. What's up, CMJ? What's up, Sanic Boy? How are you doing? We're just, uh, so I haven't live streamed in a while. Yeah, I do remember you, CMJ. I see you, uh, under the post and comment or in the video, so I appreciate it. Um, I haven't live streamed in a while. Uh, it's just gonna be a chill live stream. I, I want to record some, uh, gameplay footage for when I inevitably review the knuckles movie but i also want this as an opportunity to um just connect with you guys and talk about the recent keanu reeves casting choice because i found out about it like the minute it released on twitter uh, originally from uh john campia who's a famous like movie youtuber and you know, again, it, it could easily have been a rumor, but he really said, like, it seems likely that... I'm just going to start over, dude. Yeah, let's let's start over. Let's pick Sonic and Tails. Um, it seems, he said, uh, John Campia said, it seems likely that Keanu will play Shadow. And lo and behold, like, I think within an hour, um, official, like, uh, news platforms... Uh, released a statement saying that Keanu has been cast as Shadow and I thought that was crazy man I just thought like yo this is so cool because I'm a big Keanu Reeves fan I privated a short a while ago of me like impersonating Keanu Reeves I might publicize it uh, given the recent casting news but I actually think Keanu is a great choice I feel like he's a bit like I think canonically, like biologically, Sonic and Shadow are the same age. Um, but when it comes to, you know, the actual years, he was cryogenically frozen. So he's uh, like 50 something, right? Like, like what happened in the arc was like in the 1960s or something. So he is like 50 years old. Uh, when it, if we're just going by years, but biologically, I think he's around the same age as Sonic. So I feel like Keanu Reeves is... If I were to be nitpicky, I feel like his voice is a bit too deep for... Uh, for Shadow. But I'm not really complaining. I just think this is a terrific casting choice. Uh, one, I mean, he, the star power, right? Like, Keanu is such a... He's kind of experienced a, re a renaissance in recent years. Like, more people um, are into Keanu Reeves. Uh, into Keanu Reeves, thanks mainly to the John Wick uh, films and Cyberpunk 2077. Really uh, put Keanu's name out there as a as a as like a a reliable star to put in a movie. So having his voice in a Sonic movie will only help the film. It will only, like, get more people to watch. Even, like, people who aren't into Sonic will be like, well, Keanu Reeves is voicing this talking hedgehog that rides a motorcycle. That's really cool. I'm definitely going to have to check it out. And also, he is, um, like, he fits Shadow's character so well. Like, I'm speaking as an actor and as a, uh, as like an and and his personality like first off like if you turn shadow into a human being like he could look like keanu reeves <laughs> like if shadow became a man uh like i could see him looking like keanu reeves and uh if you're not familiar familiar like keanu really loves motorcycles uh chaos emerald retrieval do you want to spend coins to retry oh yeah sure let me retry like keanu loves motorcycles he has his own motorcycle company called Arch Motorcycles. And, um... What's up, bro? And I think, like, with that love of motorcycles and his training as John Wick and, like, firearms, I think that makes him a terrific choice 
for <laughs> Shadow the Hedgehog. And even then, like, even though in my personal opinion, he's like, his voice is a bit too gravelly and deep for what I imagine Shadow to be. Like, it's still like, it carries that essence of how I would characterize Shadow. Like that cool, like edgy, mysterious type of uh, voice. I, I think Keanu could really pull that off. I think, I think he has a very uh, unique sounding voice that would uh, lend itself well to Shadow as a character. Um, that's true, yeah. Yeah. And, um, yeah, like, so my brother, I don't know if you could hear him, but, like, my brother was mentioning how Idris Elba, he, like, he isn't a uh, one-to-one -one Knuckles, uh, like, uh, what's the word? One-to-one -one choice, I guess. But his performance is terrific. I think he's a terrific Knuckles. And I think uh, the same will be with Keanu. I think Keanu, like, people who have doubts will love it when, when they hear his voice. Uh, my other choices were actually Robert Pattinson. I think Robert Pattinson would have been a great shadow. And I know Hayden Christensen was also a... Um... I did it! Was a uh, another popular choice. Let me read some of the comments. I got the emerald. Uh, okay, let me read the comments. I'm in this. I'm in the pause screen, so I'm gonna take advantage of this. Uh, what's your here? I know there's a time limit in Sonic, so I have to pause. Uh, what's your opinion on the casting? I already talked about it. Keanu is perfect, un one hundred percent, unbelievably perfect. Uh, yeah, just like Sonic Boy said. I'll Idris Elba will bring the big bucks. Uh, Keanu will also do the same. Technically, Shadow is two years old. I thought he like grew up with Maria for a while. Isn't that true? Well, no, because Maria... Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. I don't think it was that super long. You'll see the CinemaCon trailer. I think we'll see it uh, late summer. I think that's when we'll see the trailer, like a teaser. You prefer Shadow being 53 years old instead of being, like, two years old. Sonic X Shadow is ESRB 10+, plus in the UK 12+. plus. So I guess, I mean, ESRB 10+, plus and 12+, plus is pretty much the same. It seems too idealistic now, but I really wish they went about casting someone else like David Humphrey again. I wish this movie really embraced Shadow's original aspects and made something out of it. He was uh, made to be a very theatrical character, being inspired by things like Kabuki Theater. Oh, that's interesting. Which certainly has its own edgy theme, so it was made to put on a facade. I mean, not necessarily a facade, but he demanded attention. That's interesting. Um, I'm not familiar with David. I'm, again, like, I don't, I'm not familiar with all the names for the voice actors. But Jason Griffith, if I'm... Yeah, this is Sonic 3. Like, Jason Griffith is a terrific choice, also, like, because he's, uh... He played Shadow from and Sonic from like 2003 to 2011 or something like that. So I know a lot of people wanted Jason Jason Griffith to return, but hey, man, like I just think you know Jason had his time, and I think Keanu needs his time, like really making movie Shadow have his own identity. Like I think Ben Schwartz is a terrific Sonic voice. I think he carries that energy really well. Oh, David Humphrey, sh voice shadow in SA2 and Heroes. Oh my gosh, am I lagging? Uh, okay. Sorry, I thought I was lagging for a moment. But the uh, live stream froze. Crazy. I don't think I've beaten Sonic 3 for you all. I think I only played a bit of it. David voice shadow and SA2 and heroes. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's the one I grew up with, dude. Uh 
Well, he's always said he's only had a short time in the arc, so I imagine a year in the arc. What's your opinion on Shadow's current voice acting? I mean, who else has voiced him? I mean, I thought the guy who voiced Shadow in Sonic Prime did a great job. I'm afraid to go down. Um, yeah, it's like, uh, I'm not sure. Because I haven't really heard much of Shadow besides Sonic Prime, really. <laughs> Shadow hasn't really been in the games for a while. And I'm glad, like, Sonic X Shadow Generations. It's going to be really interesting revisiting that, man. Because I played the Shadow the Hedgehog game a while back. I don't I don't know if I still have the original, like, GameCube version. Um, I'll have to go check it out, but... I, I've never beaten it completely because I think it's crazy when uh, trying to get the true ending in, <laughs> in uh, Shadow of the Hedgehog. I mean, there's just not enough of Shadow, I think, for me to really judge his voice right now. Yeah, Jason did his did Shadow in Four Kids era and Kirk did Shadow in Forces and Generations. Okay. Who did uh, the voice of Shadow and Boom? Because weren't people didn't people have like issue with um, Shadow's voice in Sonic Boom? Okay, let me collect these blue spheres. I can do this. Playing this game mode, like honestly, it it gives me like vertigo, dude. <laughs> Like, I, I get disoriented, for real. Oh, guys, I'm in the process of making another, a, uh... Oh, crap. Ah, I'm gonna start over. <laughs> like, uh, I'm in the process of making a, uh, another... What is it? A, uh, Sonic video essay. It's gonna be, uh... It's gonna be pretty dense, man. It's, it's gonna have a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, and if you guys didn't know, I posted an announcement video recently talking about how I have a new Patreon and uh, channel membership. So, if you're interested, the channel memberships are now open under this video. If you click on the join button, uh, memberships are now open. If you feel so inclined to, do, to join. <laughs> but, um... I mean, I'm just a huge Keanu Reeves fan because uh, I just think he's a cool guy overall. He seems like a really genuine guy. Like, when I get into a celebrity or any topic, really, I just go the the rabbit hole and, like, research everything about him. And from what I can tell, like, Keanu's a genuine dude. Just loves life, loves acting, loves motorcycles. And he's part of the reason, like, the John Wick movies, it's like... Part of the reason why I um, got into martial arts, uh, if you don't know, I mean, I took a bit of a break, but I've recent, recently been um, trying to get back into it. I do uh, Muay Thai and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and in the John Wick films, uh, Keanu Reeves, he does a, he does a lot of uh, Jiu-Jitsu in, in those movies. Jim Carrey video. There is a Jim Carrey video I thought about. But this this video is uh in relation to um the environmentalism that that is present in this classic Sonic games especially. It's going to be a long one. I'm going to do a bit like a lot of research about it uh regarding the topic cuz I'm not that informed. But I mean if you just look at the Sonic games like it's such an environmentalist game. Like there's such an environmentalist message in the Sonic games. And I think um, I saw an article talking about how Sonic uh, Frontiers uh, like brought back the the environmentalist themes. But I'd love for um, like modern Sonic games to 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 explore these themes more. I, I think that's what makes him stand out compared to other video game properties. 
gosh, the music. Okay, I'm. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys. Like Sonic the Hedgehog three. Um, in my memory, maybe like the first Sonic game I ever played. Like, I remember it. I had a. It's long gone, I'm sure, but I had a, uh, a like a a CD ROM of this game, and I would play it when I was like five, and I would never get past like the first level. <laughs> Or five or seven. Like, I was a kid. I was a little kid when I played this game. Are you touching the Shintoism themes that seem to exist within Sonic as well? I'm not familiar with the Shintoist themes. But uh, if you have resources, let me know. Um, I do have a Discord available for people to, uh, you know, just message me, <laughs> like, about any suggestions. But, um... Yeah, that's part of my also YouTube membership. There's a private Discord channel, but I mean anybody could really do it. Like where you can freely discuss, um, like contribute to the video essay I'm making. Uh, that's I made a private Discord channel for that. But I, I listen to like viewers either way, even if they're not part of uh, the Patreon. Gaia means Earth, so Sonic was actually going on an adventure with the Earth. Yeah, I mean... I haven't played Sonic Unleashed. That's one of the games I regret I never got to play. Um, and I wish they put it on Steam. Otherwise, I would be playing it, dude. Ooh, what's this? Hold on. I love Tails' uh, like, chopper sound when he flies. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, environmentalist themes in Sonic, dude. He's basically, uh, like, he wants to save the environment and Eggman wants to ruin it to, like, build a theme park or parking lot or something. <laughs> Oh, I love Princess Mononoke. Yeah, I'm just not too familiar with Shintoism. I will. I'm referencing um, Princess Mononoke in my environmentalist video essay uh, when I talk about Sonic. But don't expect that for a while, guys. It's gonna be. I'm still in the preliminary stages of uh, developing this video. It's it's gonna be a while. It's gonna be a big one. Oh, okay. Good thing I have the fire thingy. Man, this game's so cool. Ayo! Nice. So, let me look at the poll. Uh, how do you feel about the casting of Keanu Reeves? 50% of people. Oh, now it's 47%. Now it's 50. Now it's 47. Okay, basically it's a tie between people love the casting, it's perfect, and the other half is saying uh it's all right. Knuckles. <laughs> okay, guys, how do you pronounce this? How do you pronounce this stage? Hydrocity or Hydro City? <laughs> how do you pronounce it? I remember the stage as a kid. Hold on, sorry. It's hard for me to read comments when I'm in like an underwater world. Jump! Okay! Because, like, <laughs> this is where our anxiety starts, guys. It's this, it's the water levels in Sonic. Gosh. I, hold on, I can't read comments right now. I gotta not die or, you know, drown. <laughs> like, I'm trying not to drown here. Okay. Oh my gosh, why do they keep. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I'm I gotta get the bubble. 
I think I used to do that as a kid. There was this um uh scene in uh Spirited Away where uh what's her name? Chihiro? Uh the main the main hero, the girl. She she had to hold her breath to reach a certain part of the the place. And I would hold my breath with her when I watched it on the uh, when I watched the movie. Okay, I don't know where I'm going. Uh, let me read comments. Sorry. Okay. A lot of people are saying hydrosity. Um, hyd I mean, it's Hydro City. Why would it call... I guess hydrosity just sounds cool, but, like, I think... Um, isn't it official? Like, it is hydrosity. Or Hydro City. Oh, my gosh. I'm messing up. <laughs> Give me a bubble! Oh my gosh, okay. It's Hydro City. I messed up while well, trying to make my own point. So maybe it is Hydro City. But I think it's Hydro City. I think I think that's the intention. I don't know why you'd call it Hydro City. Hydro 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 City just like rolls off the tongue better. But Metrocity. Gosh. Hold on. I'm alive. I'm immortal. Uh, so, so far, it's still neck and neck, 50-50. There we go. Oh yeah. The visuals in this game are always peak. Yeah, I mean, how old is this game? It's older than most of you guys. <laughs> I think it's older than me. Or it's about the same age as me. Gosh. Go down, 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 go down. Okay. We're going up. I love this animation as a kid and as an adult. Like, I just think it looks cool. And the music, man. Hey, no matter what, no matter how bad the Sonic games are, the music, you can just count on it, count on it like just being a bop. Is there a Sonic game with bad music? Can you guys think of one? Is there a Sonic game that has absolutely like trash music? The game came out in 1994. Dang, this game's older than me. I was born in 96. I'm like at the tail end of being a millennial. I count myself as Gen Z, though. I I'm definitely more Gen Z than, than millennial. I didn't mean to do that. Help me fly, Tails! Okay, I might as well read some comments while I'm still here. See a little more of Labyrinth Zone, Sonic Movie 2. Oh, yeah, yeah. Man, that scene with them in, the, like, the ruins in Sonic 2 was so cool, man. That movie was so good. Like, I, I genuinely had a good time watching Sonic 2. I even liked the human scenes, because I thought the human scenes were so silly. I guess, objectively, you could call it, like, a, a weakness in the film, because it kind of detracts from the, from the main plot point. Uh, but... Again, like, I just thought they were so funny. I, I, I like the idea of, of Sonic being, like, with other people. Like, that there are humans in Sonic's world. I watched a video of uh, Pariah recently. Just going over the Japanese lore of Sonic. And 
it is canon that Sonic lives in our Earth and that he lives among humans. Like, like it's not it's not Mobius like in the comics, but he lives in Earth in the Japanese lore. Oh yeah, he did, wasn't it during like the wedding and brought like a gun in the Bible? That was crazy. <laughs> Sonic 3D Blast had bad bad music. I think there's one song though. There was one song that was like, I have it saved. I just haven't really used it um, in a video, but I saved it just in case uh, there's a right opportunity to use it in a video because I like the music. Sonic Chronicles. I don't think I've played that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you hear about the Sonic movies having a massive cinematic universe? Yeah, I saw a tweet. Um, they're gonna they're comparing it to, like, the Marvel movies, where it's just gonna be, like, every film expands upon the Sonic universe, and it's just gonna be bigger in scope, you know? Which I'm all for. I'm, I'm all for that, man. Oh, You're My Hero. Yeah, that's the song, uh, Sonic Boy. You're My Hero. It made me laugh when I was at... Hold on. I'm trying to not die from the spikes. I will read your comment. Uh, it made me... Oh, gosh. <laughs> it made me laugh when I was at Sonic Symphony and they called out to those who played for over 10 years and there was only about... Like, played? What do you mean played? Like, played an instrument? Like, played with the orchestra for over 10 years? Yeah, I mean, I guess that's in relation to the people who played in the orchestra. Played Sonic games? Played the games for over 10 years, you mean? Hey, what's up, Wolfie? Oh, I didn't mean to do this, but that's okay. Oh my gosh. This hurts my eyes, dude. Hey, what's up, Mio? What's up, Wolfie? It's been a minute, dude. Uh, we just started. It's pretty chill, you know? We're just talking about Keanu Reeves being Shadow. It's so funny that the fan cast worked, man. Like, I was rooting for him. I made... You guys can ch check me on this. I made a video giving my predictions on uh, Sonic Movie 3, right? The third Sonic movie. And one of them was like, if they get Keanu Reeves in this film, it's just gonna like, it's just gonna perform so well at the box office. And lo and behold, they got, they cast Keanu and it's it sent a shockwave throughout the internet, man. Like people will just watch this, like just to hear Keanu voice a talking hedgehog that shoots guns and and like rides motorcycles. But I don't think Shadow's gonna shoot guns in the movie. I, I don't think that's gonna be the case. That would be crazy though. I also made a video a while back um, talking about the leak um, for, this, for the plot of the Sonic film. And um, basically in that video, I talked about like how there's a, there's a need for, for the third Sonic movie to be dark. Like, it doesn't have to be rated R, but it should toe the line of like, I want it to be as dark as like the Incredibles movies, you know? Like the Incredibles movies are aimed for children, but it still had mature themes in it. Um, so I want the third Sonic movie to be like that. But from a marketing standpoint, I, I think a lot of, it's really aimed towards younger kids. But, I mean, I think younger kids are able to appreciate even uh, the darker aspects of, like, the show they're watching. 
like Avatar has a lot of dark themes, uh, the TV show, but kids still love it. I loved it as a kid, and it never really was a distraction for me. So I think if they aren't afraid to really, like especially with the story with Maria, uh, I think they should really, they shouldn't shy away from that aspect of the, the story. I'm trying to reach Eggman here. There we go. Yeah, the fan ca cast came through. Uh, I hope the movie sells one billion. I don't think it's gonna sell one billion. I'm not a box office numbers guy. I'm gonna guess like hundreds of millions. I don't know. Is that even over hundred million? I don't know. I'm not good with numbers. Oh, I use this song in my videos. Um, what is it? Uh, the best. Let me read the comments. The best Sonic is Archie Sonic. Agree or disagree? I haven't read the Archie comics yet. I know there are a lot of fans of it, and I know that, like, Sonic's characterization and the story is just, like, like crazy. <laughs> it's just, like, crazy. Oh, Archie's a bit too Western for you. I'm kind of newish to your channel, but it's honestly so great to see your engagement with the Sonic community. Hey, appreciate it, man. Like, at this point, I don't know if I'd consider myself a Sonic tuber. I guess I am. How I describe myself is like Sonic tuber adjacent, because, like, I do want to expand on what videos I talk about. And if you see my channel, I do talk about other, like, games, shows, or movies. But my channel really blew up. Well, first off, my channel really blew up because it made, like, this, uh... Like, what if Marvel Spider-Man, uh, had an anime opening and that, like... Like, that that sent my channel to the stratosphere, man. That video's gotten, like, over 2 million views at this point. But, you know, when it comes to building a community, people seem to really resonate with my Sonic analysis videos. And I like making it. I just think... Whether it was intentional or not, Sega has created such a world and characters that hold so much depth of meaning. And I don't think enough people, like, recognize that. Like, dude, like, Sonic is in intentionally or unintentionally really deep. <laughs> like an anime-feeling channel. Hold on. Let me read... What am I doing? What is wrong with my... What is... Oh, this is a top. Hold on. I forgot this was a thing. I forgot people do that. I'm so confused. Uh, I'm going to read some comments. I read Archie Western. Will we see a Chris Chan? Oh, Chris Chan? I have thought about making a Chris Chan video. That's going to be... My brother and uh, my friend M14 Gaming, they... They, um... They followed the the Chris Chan documentary series, like they're up to date with it. And it's just crazy. I've thought about making like the philosophy of Chris Chan. Like cause he's just such a there's such an interesting character, man. Like Chris Chan is Chris Chan is crazy. Um it's always Sonic is such an interesting like cultural like totem, like piece, like I don't know why the internet gravitates to Sonic so much. Like, compared to other video games, right? Because, like, Sonic has produces, like, so many memes throughout, like, comparatively to, to, other, to other video games or shows or movies. I don't know. It's, like, something about Sonic that just attracts, like, a lot of weird things, <laughs> really. <laughs> um, I'm going to read more comments. Oh yeah, movie. I love Jim Carrey's. Uh, Jim Carrey's portrayal of Doctor Eggman is so good, dude. I think he really understands his character at such a deep level. It really boils down to pride and this need to prove himself. I predict that um, Jim Carrey's Eggman, because I don't think he'll want to play the character forever. He even said he wanted to retire from acting, but 
by some miracle he's still gonna play Eggman and I'm so happy. I'm all for it. Like I think I think um movie Eggman will have some form of redemption arc and then another uh villain will take his place. Um let me see. I'm gonna read some of the comments. If I stop falling. <laughs> I enjoy reading the Archie Sonic comments, but I don't know if he's necessarily the best. However, I love reading the craziness of the Archie comics. Yeah, I hear I hear the Archie comics are crazy. It's how free they last being a mascot. One more about your Christian video. Don't. Hey, that's not gonna be until a while, man. Uh. What is oh, Chris from Sonic X. Oh, I grew up with Sonic X. I, I've thought about reviewing the series. I might I might like a lot host a watch party for it. Uh the fact that Sega lets us starve during the meta era nearly killed the community though after Force is released. What's the meta era? Like we're just self aware of how cringe we are, is that it? Oh gosh. Um, okay. I didn't know. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh my gosh. Pause the game when you read the comments. I know. I need to do that more. That would help with so much. Because it's hard to play a Sonic game while, while reading comments, guys. My, my brain, like, has a difficult time even constructing sentences, as you can tell. Like, it's difficult to multitask, honestly. Hey, what's up, Anime Odyssey? How are you doing, man? I gotta play some Knuckles. Uh, part of the reason why I'm live streaming also, you know, like, uh, kill two birds with one stone is like, I wanna record some footage. Because um, I will review the Knuckles series. I'm excited to to watch that. Are you, how are you guys feeling about the Knuckles uh, series coming out in... Coming out next week. It's going to be in Paramount. I'm just interested in... I think it'll just be fun, like, buddy comedy. I think that's what uh, they're kind of going for when it comes to the tone and structure of the, the series. I'm playing Sonic 3. You know what? I might play as Knuckles uh, after this level. We'll see. hyped do you think it'll be worth my wallet so here's my plan with the knuckle series guys i think paramount does a like a uh what is it a um a free trial i hope they do and once they do that i'm gonna you know just cancel the trial once the <laughs> like it's i finished watching the series Oh my gosh. What's happening? Eggman. I hope they have a free trial. I could be wrong. I think I'm going to guess it's like if they do have a free trial, it's like a week. And that's definitely enough for me to finish watching it, you know? Oh, it's six episodes. Okay. That's not bad at all. I'm just gonna be see here's the thing if knuckles has his own series then for sure shadow will or shadow might even have his own movie because besides sonic like shadow can hold his own he's such a popular character when you have shadow and keanu reeves voicing him i mean that's just a recipe for success honestly i don't know what i was doing I was so confused. What am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to go? Oh, here. Yeah, like a shadow, like exploring. I mean, here's the thing. Make, make the shadow movie based on the shadow game. Except remove all the cringe parts, okay? Remove all the, like, 
remove all the the bad stuff from the sh I mean, this is so so vague, but yeah. Remove all the bad... I don't know why I'm going... Okay, I'm supposed to go backwards. Like, remove all the bad stuff from uh, the Shadow game and implement the good stuff and put it into a movie. They could totally do it, man. And I will be their opening night, dude. In the center of the theater, watching Keanu Reeves voice Shadow if they release a, like, a uh, solo Shadow movie. Just call it Shadow the Hedgehog. That's it. You know, like, and then, like, once in a while, uh, Sonic and him will uh, team up, you know? Oh, man, make it make it PG-13. It's edgier. <laughs> Let's make him say, damn, in hell. <laughs> man, I remember playing the Shadow the Hedgehog game as a kid, and I thought I was so edgy. I'm like, dude, this is the future of Sonic. Damn, and hell, and guns. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, this is very difficult. Where am I supposed to go? What? Okay, I'm starting over. That was really loud. I'm sorry if I just burst your eardrums. Hold on, guys. I gotta focus on this. This is manageable, I think. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hold on, folks. Hold on. Hold on. I'm focusing right now. I gotta get locked in. Okay, I have a question, guys. I mean, I've done it before. Do you like, do you care if I have like a face cam during live streams? I kind of like, like not caring about how I look like when I live stream and I just talk to you all. But do you think that would improve the live stream at all if I like have a, I don't know, like a, like a, like a face cam? I can't read comments right now because. I'm experiencing vertigo as I'm trying to complete this challenge, though. I like seeing you. Thanks. That sounds kind of creepy, but I know you didn't mean it that way. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. I got to focus, y'all. I got to get locked in, dude. It's, uh... This is really hard. <laughs> if I mess up again, I'll read comments. Hold on. Where is everybody? Hold on. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Oh gosh! Ah! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. Ugh. Okay, where am I supposed to go? Okay, okay, okay. I'm so scared, guys. <laughs> okay, hold on. Where am I supposed to go? I think, right? Uh, no. Here? I don't know where to go, dude. I'm just going in a circle, I think. I think I can go left? Nope. Where am I supposed to go? Right? Left? Okay. I am... I don't know about you guys, but... My eyes are hurting. <laughs> Where? Where are these things? This is what purgatory feels like. <laughs> okay. 
It's just one cyclical sonic stage. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. I am very, very confused on where I'm supposed to go. Oh my... No! <laughs> okay. Uh... I'm gonna try again. And then we'll see. Let me read the comments. Uh... I'm still working on my Sonic Ages series, and I've already got an idea for a Shadow spinoff called Shattered Shadows. Ooh, interesting. I don't care personally. It's your choice. I personally don't mind if you do. I think it'd be funny, but I don't mind either way. You seem incredibly engaged nonetheless. Yeah, I try to amp it up, guys. I'm a very boring person, but when I live stream, I try to amp up the energy. I'm normally very um, just like chill and quiet and don't say much. We want to see your face, Ranny. Oh, guys! Here, I forgot. Oh, you got to jump over the red. It's on the side. Doesn't see the path literally right next to the red orbs. Oh, gosh. Okay, I'm starting over. Um. Okay, before I forget. So, I hope and I pray. I think there's actually a decent chance of this, okay? I hope Keanu Reeves watched my Shadow the Hedgehog philosophy video. Can you just imagine him being like, I need to learn more about Shadow. Oh, what's this? A Shadow philosophy video? Come on. Like, dude, if if he mentions that in like like an interview, like, so how do you research how do you research Shadow the Hedgehog? Like, oh I found this uh YouTube video from this guy named Randy, and he talked about the philosophy of shadow, and that really helped me a lot. Dude, like, ugh. gosh, that would be so cool. That's my dream. Okay, I'm gonna try again, guys. I'm gonna try again. I don't think it's out of the norm, because I've had people, if they are to be believed, like, comments in my, like, for example, my Sonic, uh, Sonic Dream um, video essay. Like, one of the, like, producers of that game, like, retweeted my video, and one of the level designers of the game also, um... Oh, gosh, this is so difficult. This is so... Stop! Stop! <laughs> okay. Um, like, yeah, one of the level designers commented on uh, my video and said, like, uh, that they developed Sonic Dreams before Sonic Frontiers was even a thing. It's been an ongoing project. Because people compared the plot of Sonic Dreams to uh, Sonic Frontiers. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna listen to the people. Hey, appreciate animate. I don't know how many times I'm gonna try this, guys. I don't know how much. Oh, it's worth it. Whatever. Oh gosh, it's so difficult, dude. Okay. 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 I'm going right. Okay. I gotta get locked in, folks. I could get locked in. Jeez. That scares me. Okay. 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 Hold on. Okay, folks. We are where we left off. We are where we left off. Someone said, like, it's to the right. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, my gosh.
I don't know how many times I'll try this. Uh, gotta head out for a bit, but I'll come by again if you're still streaming. Then otherwise, take care, everyone. Hey, take care, AJ. Thanks for stopping by, dude. Oh, God. Quit, dude. I'm gonna try one more time. I gotta try one more time. I gotta... I gotta go for... Okay, I almost just botched that right away. <sighs> this is already difficult. This is... I think I'm... One more. This is how gambling works, guys. This is how they hook you in. It's like, you were so close to winning. You should spend your money and try again. You must think I'm an idiot if I'm going to spend my money to lose. And you're right. I'm going to do it. Okay. Hold on. I gotta... I gotta focus. Okay. Okay, we are... This is where it gets stuck, dude. Like, I don't know where this thing is. Jeez. Like, I don't know where to go. Okay, let me pause. Uh, okay. Is it here? No. Where do I go, guys? Where do I go? Oh, man. Hold on. Okay. Jeez. I don't like how fast they're going to. Guys, I'm... S Hold on. I'm behind. Uh, do you know where it is? <laughs> I don't know where to go. You ran past the passage numerous times. Did I? Where is it? Like, what am I looking for? I mean, it's kind of hard considering how fast it's going and, like, it's the same thing. <laughs> like, everything just looks the same. Okay. Whatever. I'm going to go for it. Whatever. Ah, whatever. It's done. I can't do it. I'm not I'm not a completionist. I'll figure this out later. Oh, I have to jump a single row of reds. It's done. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's such a bummer. That's just gonna annoy me. You know what? Sonic has some of the most annoying enemies ever, dude. Like, they just find ways to, like, mess up your timing, and then you just lose all your rings.
Okay. I almost died. <laughs> I'm immortal. Okay. This reminds me of, like, this Nickelodeon show. You guys might be way too young, but, like, it's... I think it was called Temple Run. It's, like, uh, where kids compete in this, like, temple-themed, like, ancient ruin-themed uh, obstacle course. It's something like that, and it's, uh... This stage reminds me of that. I, I also just think, like... I made a video a while back talking about how to make Sonic cool again. I think that's one of my more underrated videos. If you want to check out, like, oh gosh. Uh, oh, Legend of the Hidden Temple. I think that's it. Let me, hold on, I gotta look it up. Is it Legends of the Hidden Temple? I'm, I'm researching right now, hold on. Yeah, that's it, man. I grew up watching this. I was like a little kid when this came out. But, is starting a bit and Sonic Cup is streaming now. They're stealing my idea! <laughs> Man, I wonder like if I ever like meet some of these more popular Sonic Tuber channels. Uh what that would be like. Oh, if you guys also like my Sonic content, I actually recommend uh you may already know him. He he stops by once in a while. His name is Sonic Theory. He makes good videos. You should check him out. Um But yeah, like what I was going to say is, like, I made a video called Making Sonic Cool Again. And I think, like, when it comes to his video games, and I think a huge factor in that is leaning into his, like, 90s origin. Because Sonic is such a product of the 90s culture. And, like, I think we should go back to that. Like, make him, like, you know, like, edgier, have more spunk. He's not just, like, a goody two-shoes. Like, I, I, think, I think that's what would make him uh you know like bring bring uh more of an audience make him more of a uh, compelling as a character oh you saw his summary video on the sonic movie novelization oh okay yeah sonic theory is cool uh okay get back that attitude he had in the old games yeah so Here's what I learned from the Pariah video I watched uh, recently. Because I was just doing more research in the classic games and the lore behind them. And in the Japanese lore, like, Sonic isn't as... Like, doesn't have as much of an attitude in the Japanese version compared to, like, his Western uh, adaptation. Like, I guess because it was the 90s, people really loved the, like, skater, punk, like... Uh you know, type of attitude when it comes to their heroes. But, like, what's interesting about the Sonic, uh, the Japanese version of Sonic in the classic games is, like, he isn't really... He is a hero, but he's not a traditional hero. Like, he doesn't go out trying to look for bad guys to save the day. It just so happens that Eggman is encroaching in his world and is hurting his friends, so... That's why Sonic is a hero. Like he can't when he does see injustice, he will make it a point to to um, to fight it. But he doesn't go out of his way looking for it, you know? Sonic is really a free spirit. Like he just travels around the world and if he sees bad guys doing bad things, he's gonna he's gonna try to put a stop to it. But he doesn't go out of his way like trying to save everybody, you know? He's not a superhero. I guess that's the way of putting it. He's a hero, but he's not like a superhero. And I, I think that's an interesting uh, characterization of Sonic. Like, he also said, like, when it comes to um, the Japanese interpretation of or translation of Sonic is that uh, he's more serious. Like, he's still, like, a fun-loving guy, but he's um, he's not as, like carefree, I guess, compared to 
his Western uh, adaptation or interpretation. Okay, I was so confused about what's happening. Oh, this is so cool, man. I died? Nope, I'm alive. This is so cool, dude. Did I die? Okay, no. Well, yeah, Flynn's interpretation is a bit different. I don't have a problem with Flynn at all. I know some people do. I, I think Flynn does a good job, like, characterizing the characters, making them really feel like people, you know, fleshed out, like, have personalities, have their own characteristics. Um, I, I think that's uh, Flynn's strength, you know. But I know he's uh, encumbered by Sega corporates, like, especially with his characterization of Shadow. He wanted to go a different route with him, but Sega's like, no, he's got to be this edgelord. If he's not that, then, then that's not Shadow. I, yeah, I guess Sonic and Ichigo are pretty similar. I mean, I guess in his Japanese version, he is like a... He is like that. He is cocky. He's a bit snarky. But it's not as extreme as in his Western Western interpretation. Uh, I'm going to go back to... Uh, the main menu. Because we're going to play as Knuckles now. That's what we're going to do. Anniversary mode... Start. Oh, wait, what? Hold on. You know what? We're just going to start over with Knuckles. It's It's been a minute. Yep. I actually like the way he writes Amy. From what I've read, I'm not fully caught up. I've... Like... The last IDW video, I was fully caught up in the comics, but I haven't ca caught up since then. Um, I like his characterization of Sonic and Amy. I think, I like, I feel like Amy's like way more interesting and compelling as a character. She's not just like a fangirl of Sonic, but has agency and is useful, you know, <laughs> like to the to the plot and to and to uh, the story. Yeah, I need to record some Knuckles footage for when I, uh, when I, uh, review the, um, Knuckles show. Oh, yeah, Eggman is great, dude. I love, uh, Eggman in, um, the IDW comics. It's difficult, because, like, clearly, Lin is a fan of the series of Sonic. And, you know, like, people always say, oh, I could make it better, but, like, because I'm a fan, but Flynn is a fan. Like, he loves Sonic and his characters. It's just that a lot of people seem to disagree. But I I've noticed, like, with the Sonic fan base, it's, it has a lot of cringy people. I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm part of that, too. But, like, it's, um, it's difficult to appease everybody. I guess especially Sonic fans, and you just gotta like go with your gut as a writer and portray and write the character to the best of your ability. Cause there's a difference between like having ideas, ideas are very important, and executing those ideas, especially as a writer. Like writing is so hard, guys. And like, especially as I'm trying to like uh, not only make video essays, but I've been kind of slacking off in this. I want to make my own fictional stories, you know? Like, writing fiction is very difficult. Um, especially when you're writing for such a beloved property like uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Hey, true strength is recognizing your own cringe, guys. Remember that. Talk, wait. Yeah, like, I guess Sonic is more of a, a hedgehog of action. I know people... Hey, that's where my big uh, video was on his philosophy, where people had 
complaints about Sonic's monologue to Surge in that uh, in the issue I reviewed. I mean, everyone has their own interpretation, Sonic Boy. Like I have my own interpretation of Sonic. I have my own inter interpretation of uh, of uh, what is it? Uh, Spider Man. I I think like we have to agree upon like the fundamentals of what defines a character, you know. Like, I think when you stray from that, that's when you have a, you can say, like, I have a legitimate gripe with, with this portrayal of, with his portrayal of Sonic or Spider-Man, because he is straying away from what defines him as a character. A good film that explores this concept of identity and the definition of a character is actually the Spider-Verse series, because it talks about, like, like, anyone can be Spider-Man. But what does that even mean? Like, what does it mean to be Spider-Man? What are the core traits of making someone or something Spider-Man? You know? And, and it's it's an exploration of how there's a multiplicity in, in identity, you know? Like, anyone can be Spider-Man, but how is that... How are we able to do that, you know? Um, and I guess with Sonic, like, many things are... are Sonic can be portrayed in multiple ways, but what are the key traits that define Sonic? And that's uh, that's something to think about when you, I guess, are criticizing uh, a portrayal of him. But also, if you ever like develop your own fan fiction of Sonic, like ask yourself like, like what makes Sonic Sonic? What makes him unique and interesting and compelling as a character? These are such broad questions but it's worth really mulling over if you if you want to give like legitimate criticism or write your own stories you know uh, I'm gonna read some of the comments I'm gonna pause <laughs> I'm gonna take advice from my viewers pause when you read comments yeah I need I know I need to read the RG comics <sighs> I know I that, that will be a time, guys. I'm busy, okay? <laughs> uh, let me read comments. Let's see. I like how Shadow is portrayed in Arch Comics and Silver. But Amy in the IDW comics to me is the best Amy. Yeah, I, I mentioned how I agree with that. Um, I'm not really a fan of the way he makes Sonic Way talk too much. We talked about that. Uh... Facts is someone who wants to make a story, making a story is very difficult. Yeah, like, like, it's complaints are necessary. Like, criticisms are necessary if they come out of a genuine place. Cause it show it does reveal that there's a problem. Like, how can we make a solution or how can we make something good if, if we are unaware of what problems are present in what we're creating, you know? But so complaints are good. And, Come <laughs> like solutions are like in order for a solution to occur, you're like we need to be aw made aware of what issues are underlying something, you know. Uh, if I told you Keanu Reeves was on Cora, would you believe? Assume would you believe? Assuming that's him, I know he wrote. So again, I mentioned before, like if I get into a topic, I I get into like a rabbit hole and research all about the topic, and one of those topics was Keanu Reeves. And Keanu Reeves, fun fact, did host like a, an AMA and Ask Me Anything in Reddit a while back. And that's how I learned more about him. And he seems like a really cool dude. Um, Yeah, CMJ, I agree with Sonic's side of Surge's story. But the way Sonic presented it was just plain unfinished and made Sonic look really bad. I wonder if that was intentional. Uh, okay, cool. It's so cool you have, like, Knuckles' side of the story, man. Oh, I also learned in um, Pariah's video that when Sega was trying to, like, make their own mascot to, to go against Nintendo's Mario, they initially made it Eggman. Like, Eggman was one of the concepts for, for like, the Sega mascot. But it's like a miniature Eggman. It's really funny. Could you imagine, like, Eggman being the mascot for Sonic or for Sega? That'd be crazy. 
I'm glad they went with Sonic, because Sonic is so... I just think he's so cool, man. One of the best designed characters created, honestly, in my opinion. He's one of the greatest characters ever designed. Uh, especially his classic version. I can't, I can't dig down. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Oh, this is unrelated to Sonic, but I hear, I think it's next month. There's going to be a... Um, PlayStation State of Play, and oh, I'm excited for that, dude. Rumor is there. Rumor is that there there might be a Ghost of Tsushima 2 announcement, and I'm all for that, man. I love Ghost of Tsushima, and it's it's time for a sequel, man. It's been when did Ghost of Tsushima come out? Like 2019, something like that. It's been like five years since uh, they released it, and like if, if this announcement comes out. Cause I know they uh, released the Ghost of Tsushima, like PC, uh, like they released it for PC. I missed. Hey yo. Yeah, I think I I thought about making like a separate video just talking about why Sonic is such a has such a terrific character design. Games other than Sonic, did you check out the Endless Ocean game? I was talking about. Oh no, I didn't. Hold on. Let me let me put that in my checklist of checking things out before I forget. Sorry. Ooh. Okay, I wrote, I wrote it down. Yeah, I forgot to check it out, dude. Sorry. Okay. It's interesting, I guess, like, you can't get, um... You don't have uh, infinite air when you're invincible, which is surprising to me. <laughs> Streaming later, I'm going to be back soon. Hey, take care, Sonic Boy. Thanks for stopping by, dude. Yeah, I'll probably live stream till like 8 p.m. latest. So we got like two hours. We'll see. I mean, it depends if people are still around and they're not bored. I'm, I'm cool, like, live streaming still, you know? Yeah, I knew I was about to run out of air. Sonic clone games? Uh, there was one. Like, I forgot the name of it. I've seen it before. Uh, it's like, it's like this kid, like, that has a, electric powers and it's, it's similar to Sonic. If you guys know the name, put it in the comments. But yeah, this kid has electric powers and the gameplay is very similar to Sonic. And people are like, this is what modern Sonic should play like, you know? Why is Sonic in the games able to utilize power bubble things, but yet Sonic Knuckles can't? I guess to just make them different, you know? Uh... Just to show that they have their own strengths and weaknesses. So, so far in the poll, I'm seeing that 
most people, 70% of the people who have watched the live stream, think that Knuckle or um, Keanu Reeves is casting is the perfect choice. I'm 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 one of those, honestly. I I just think like, I mean, besides Robert Pattinson, I mean, I would have been fine with whatever they pick as long as it's not too out there. But I just think Keanu Reeves is such a good choice, like good marketing choice as well. He just fits the character so well. Oh my gosh, what am I supposed to do? Why do you punish me? Hold on, I gotta get a bubble, dude. Ah, hold on. Knuckles can swim. Why are you, like, not able to swim up? Oh, I have a friend. It's so funny when he told me this. I started laughing so hard when he first told me this. Uh, he told me, like, Granny, like, I can swim in pools, right? Like, I can swim at the surface of the water of a pool. But once I'm underwater, like, I just freak out and I'm unable to swim. I'm just like, oh, I, I guess I can understand that. But that's so funny to me. <laughs> How can you, like, swim above the water? But once you're under the water, you're like... <laughs> like you're on you just like <laughs> you just can't anymore <laughs> i wonder if it's like a psychological thing like you just freaks out like oh my gosh all around me is just water okay let's see if i have better luck getting these challenges Thinking, folks. Ah, I'm going to try one more time. No, I could definitely imagine Keanu Reeves yelling chaos control. I can definitely... Chaos control. I, w I wonder how different it will be from his, like, speaking voice. I give up. I can't do this. Okay, um, yeah, we're, we're, I, I, I need to cut my losses, man. I missed. Up. <laughs> hey, I got it. I hope we got a shadow on Rouge. Uh, sort of Sonic 06 moment. Yeah, I wonder if there'll be more characters besides Shadow. My greatest worry with the um with the movie is that it'll be too bloated you know there'll just be uh too many characters and the story will will suffer because of it
which was a Sonic movie in the style of the Sonic Unleashed opening. Who knows, man? Yeah, like, it's crazy that... I forget, like, what? Sonic Unleashed came out 2008? That's older than some of the viewers of my channel, which is crazy to me. Yeah, so Sonic movie came... Or Sonic Unleashed came out 2008, I think. And the graphics look so good, dude. I don't know why it's not on Steam. I tried looking for it on the PS5 because I genuinely want to play the game. And I think it's only available like as a free trial or something. I'll look again in the PlayStation Store. They might have it. But I don't understand why it's not on Steam. It would sell really well. Okay. Oh my gosh. These floating sharks, dude. These floating sharks! Besides Sonic, guys, like, who's your favorite uh, Sonic character? I mean, I guess mine has to be Shadow. But Silver, I think Silver is next after that. I think Silver is underrated. Man, when they introduce Silver into the movies... Who's gonna voice Silver? People want Tom Holland. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Silver! <laughs> Oh yeah, that's true, CMJ. Literally wearing a shadow sweatshirt right now. Guys, I have like merch ideas. And one of them is like Sonic themed. And I think, I think I have a, like a cool concept, but it's just coming, coming up with the design is uh been percolating in my mind I've thought about like how would I make a shirt how could I make it cool because if I make a shirt or if I make merch there'll be some like you know gag merch that may be cool and funny but I want to make stuff that I'd actually use you know because I, I noticed like a lot of like youtuber merch like it just comes off as tacky unless that was what they were going for and it's for the it's just for the the humor of it you know the affect of Oh my gosh. <laughs> of it being funny, you know. Is Omega the robot the most powerful Sonic character? Uh, can you create a Ranny toaster? I have a waffle maker I need to use more. I love waffles. Waffles over pancakes, dude. But yeah, I, I do eventually want to make merch. And if you guys just joined, if you didn't... I know I'm self-promoting. It's my channel. I can self-promote. <laughs> but like, if you just... Uh, if you haven't seen my announcement video yet, I made a Patreon. You can check it out in the link. I pinned the comment. But I also made a YouTube channel membership. Channel members get cool, like, I mean, it's just a way to support me, and you get emojis like this. I'm going to put the emojis, okay? I'm putting the emojis you can use. It's awesome. <laughs> Boom. Channel emojis, baby. Cust only available if you're a channel member. <laughs> but no pressure, though. I understand that. You know, money's tight. <laughs> oh yeah, speaking of face cam, that's my face, guys. I've shown my face. I'm not going to be like dream and hype up my face reveal. I think I'll just disappoint people <laughs> if, I, if I do that. People were surprised. I'm like, Randy, oh, you finally showed your face. I'm like, I've shown my face plenty of times before, guys. Hey, I appreciate you like the emojis. I will join as soon as I get myself a job. Hey, respect. It's no pressure, guys. I mean, it's just a way to support me if you if you if you feel like it, you know. Videos will still be free. 
It's just like I will give a bit of more perks to those who decide to support me through Patreon or through channel memberships. But the thing is, uh, I learned in YouTube that... Oh, how do I do this again? Like, in the... Um, if you... What is it? If you uh, get enough members, you can add more emojis. So you can be sure that as we get more channel members recruited... How do, how do I beat this guy? You guys know? Uh, as we get more uh, channel members, uh, there will be more emojis available for sure. Yeah, I just decided to make a Yu-Gi-Oh one. I might make more. I just thought that expression was so funny. I just decided to stick with it. I'm like, whenever I show my face, I'm just going to just do that instead. What am I supposed to do, guys? Is it supposed to be like you... Make Am I supposed to jump on the bomb or whatever? Oh, okay, I see. That's crazy. Okay, I see, I see. Hey, appreciate it, AJ. Again, no pressure, guys. I don't like the idea of like, I don't know, someone's just grabbing you by the throat like, support me on Patreon. <laughs> I might do that as a joke, but like, I don't know. That to me, I don't like it. I only want people to support me if they really like the content they're making or that I'm making and think it's worth their while, you know? Gosh, this is difficult. I got like two minutes left. There we go. Oh my gosh, I got one hit in. Jump on the water when... Jump on the water when... I can. Oh, okay, okay, I see. I, I see what you mean. Okay. I know what to do now, guys, I think. I think I know what to do now. Hold on. I messed up. I messed up! <laughs> I lied. I didn't know what was going on. There we go. I see. I see now. Gosh, I'm dumb. <laughs> Okay, come on. There we go. It's so random that Eggman or Knuckles can glide. Like, well, I guess it's not as random as. I mean, Tails can fly, so I guess it's not too far fetched that Knuckles can glide. But I'm like, how did they come up with the idea? Like, yeah, he's in a Kenda and. I don't even think people really know what that is, but he can glide and climb up walls, you know? Hold on. Come on. There we go. Two hits in. I'm, I'm satisfied. I'm gliding. There we go. Yeah, she's a bat. <laughs> I don't know why. Game mechanics, dude. Only explanation. There we go. I did it. I think it was Anime Odyssey that recommended me to jump on the water thing. Yeah, it was. Uh, 
Marble Garden Zone. Let's go. We were just here, man. This is a great game. Can you imagine playing this when it came out? Like, yo, I, th this is so much content. I guess especially during that time. You know everything about Akendas? Bet? What's their Latin name or whatever, their formal scientific name? Yeah, yeah, that's true. I guess a lot of characters in Sonic can fly. So, I don't know. To me, like, I like being an Akenda and flying, it just seems so random to me. <laughs> like, the, I guess the thing is, like, what makes it weird to me is, like, like, Knuckles, like, how does he even do it? Because he doesn't have any apparatus, like, any appendage that makes him fly. Like, Tails has his wings, Cream has her ears, like, Rouge has has wings, right? But like, but like, Knuckles just, just like glides, like <laughs> just so randomly. I don't know, it's just funny to me. I played the game when it was released and have played the game just about every year since. Hey, nice. Oh, is it Chaos Energy? Is that actually it? Is that canon? I know, like, canon doesn't really matter that much any, like, when it comes to Sonic. <laughs> hold on, let me, um... Uh, hold on, let me fix the chat a bit. I'm gonna pop out the chat so I can see you guys better. If it loads... There we go. So far, 70% of people think... Keanu Reeves is a perfect choice. I mean, does, does, is, I guess that's fur, right? Like, like, what Knuckles has is hair. Like, that's hair, right? It's not like a weird head tentacle or something. <laughs> or like a quill. You know, because Sonic has quills, right? Also, I love how, like, Keanu Reeves turned down, like, Marvel contracts, you know? But he played, like, a talking, like, sagebrush in in the Spongebob movie. And he, uh, now he's gonna voice Shadow the Hedgehog, and I'm all for it. And I love how, like, it seemed that uh, Jim Carrey was gonna retire from acting, but, <laughs> like, he, he wants to continue acting for in order to portray uh, Dr. Eggman. I just think that's so funny. I think that's so cool. Okay, so it's uh, connected to the Master Emerald and no one shot beams with the Chaos Emerald. No one shot beams with the Chaos Emerald? I'm confused. Uh, Knuckle, the, okay. Akendas have quills. Okay, that's the that's the result of our conversation. <laughs> Great. Akendas can't climb and two private bits. A hey, nice. <laughs> I know they can dig. I'm sure digging's like normal. Like I think most animals can dig, so. The digging makes sense to me, but the gliding, like just having like this dude just literally start flying, like it just it just makes me laugh. <laughs> oh gosh. Ah. Now, what did you guys think of the Mario movie? I thought about making a video on that, but I'd have to think about it more. I actually enjoyed it. I enjoyed the Sonic movie more. Like, I, I thought it was a, a better watch than the Mario movie. Like, the the Sonic movie, like, I... Like, when I saw the second Sonic movie, there was a moment 
in the film where like this guy, like I think as a gun soldier, he literally just started like levitating into the air and never stopped. And my brother and I just started howling laughing. I thought that was so funny. It was so stupid. It made me laugh. Much knowledge. Oh yeah, they're like Australian hedgehogs. They lay eggs. Oh, so they're like uh, platypies. Platypuses? Platypies? I don't know the plural form of platypus. Uh, I what are they called? Uh, is it? They're the only. So I guess they're mammals, right? Are Kenda's mammals? I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Yeah, the Mario movie was fun. I I think it was a bit generic. I mean, it's a fun watch, but man, I love when the second Sonic movie especially came out. I was hyped, dude. Like with Super Sonic and the battle between Sonic and Knuckles in in the uh, the Temple Arena. It just looked so good. I actually thought the fight choreography was really well done, you know? Where am I supposed to go? Okay, they're mammals. So, I guess platypuses and and uh, kendas are both mammals that can lay eggs. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. It's very interesting. Yeah, the second Sonic movie was just so epic. I think, I really hope they learn with each film so that, like, the third movie, I mean, I kid you not, I haven't been this hyped for a movie in a while, dude. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I guess I'll go back? Oh, uh, let me follow the arrow that says go back. I got distracted, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just a man. I thought the Mario movie was cool, but I like the Sonic movies better because the Mario movie felt to me rushed. Yeah, I, I think that was the major weakness. It's like, it's called the Super Mario Bros, but we barely get Luigi, you know? I hope in the second movie they explore more of Luigi. Because I love Luigi, uh, especially in the RPG uh, Mario games. I think Luigi's great. And speaking of RPG games, I'm really hyped to play Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Because I've never played that game, the original version of it. So seeing that it's getting an HD remake, uh, I'm excited to to, uh, to have a go at it. Because I hear from a few people that, like, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door is literally, like, their favorite game ever. Like, this is my favorite game. I love this game. And I, I'm excited to, to experience that in, a, in the remake. <clears throat> Okay, let's see. Man, I wonder what they're gonna adopt in uh, the third movie. I guess it'll be a lot like SA2. So my prediction is like the monster, like it won't be the bio lizard. It will be uh, like, like alluding to chaos, you know, like in SA1. In the fourth movie, they'll team up to, to fight chaos or something like that. Okay, I'm doing really bad. I gotta lock in, folks. Hold on. Bro. This is hard. Okay, hold on, hold on. There we go. Let me read some of the comments. Uh, I 
hope they don't overpower Shadow. In the movie, like Prime, as it would take a whole point away from SA2 soon. This is then Sonic because Shadow doesn't dominate Sonic. You want to see Shadow use a gun once in the film? Oh man, that's gonna be iffy, man. I know that's gonna be divisive among fans if he does shoot a gun. There we go. I I think if they make him shoot a gun, it'll be like a laser gun. It's it, it, I don't think it's gonna be a real gun. Because it is a kid's movie. But again, I wanted to have, like, the tone and the seriousness of, like, the Incredibles films. If uh, the third Sonic movie can capture that, I think that's a good, that's a good um, direction. We're going up! Have you guys seen the Snap Cube uh, dubs? Those are some of my favorite videos, man. <laughs> The snap cube videos are crazy. Um Tails use a gun. Oh, but it was like a it was like a clone gun, right? That's what Tails used. Oh yeah, I forgot he did that. Uh my biggest issue with Sonic X was the power scaling, Tails, and Amy was useless in the Yeah, it is like implied like Sonic gets older. I like that a more mature Sonic, you know. Well, he matures throughout the, the films. Do I just go back? I guess. Okay. Oh, this. Boop. I think I'm doing this right. I don't know what I'm doing. Gosh. Hold on. I gotta rotate in the right angle. Oh gosh. Nope. Noticing the few Sonic dub references you've been making throughout the stream. Yeah, maybe I did it even unconsciously. I think I've only made one. <laughs> but... Oh gosh, Alfred, the guy who plays Eggman in the Sonic dubs. Oh gosh, he's so funny. I mean, the key to their dubs is like, they're just really good at improv. That's the, I mean, that's the whole... That's what the live dub is. I thought I think that's such a genius idea. Like, just do a live dub of a video game. It, it just makes so much sense to me. I'm like, wow. I, I haven't no I didn't notice like I haven't seen a lot of a uh, channels do that. They're like like Snapcube is really the first channel I've seen that emphasizes uh, these dubbings of video games. Or in 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 make like turning it into like an improv uh like turning it into an improv skit, basically. I'm wondering what other Sonic games they could do. I mean, I guess there's Frontiers, but I don't know. It's the the cutscenes in Frontiers aren't as like cinematic as like an SA2, you know, or in Sonic 06.
Hey, what's up, Sanic boy? This had the best boss fights, in my opinion. Does Unleashed have a lot of uh, cutscenes? The, the great thing about, like, those Sonic games is there's, like, a cast of characters, so it lends itself well to, like, being an improv skit where multiple people can, like, contribute to the joke or whatever. Hey, I appreciate it, AJ. I try to not make it too boring. Like, gosh, how am I, sp am I supposed to go there? I don't want to go there. I try to amp up the energy a bit. Because I notice, like, I guess it depends. Like, I hear a lot of people, like, use live streams as background noise while they're, like, you know, cooking something in the kitchen or doing homework. I'm like, oh, yeah, I could see that. Like, it's just, you know, really comforting to have, like, a podcast or a live stream just in the background. Hey, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, I've been... Uh, that's the thing I've been struggling with. I've mentioned this before. I don't know if any of you... Any person here have heard, has heard of it. But, like, I've been trying to grow a live streaming audience for a long time. When I first started my channel, I initially was just going to be a traditional gaming channel where I would live stream gameplay and make clips out of it. But I never really took off. And even now, like, I still struggle with, like, viewership when it comes to live streams. Like, my videos do pretty decent, but when it comes to live streams, it doesn't perform as well. And it's just, like, a matter of, like, trying to figure out, like, what uh, would appeal to, to my audience, you know? I've been trying to figure that out. Because I, I do want to, like, have, like, a steady, like, live streaming audience. It's been a goal of mine since the beginning of this channel. Yeah, I guess it's the main thing. Like, a lot of people can just interact with the, with the creator they've been watching. Uh, that, I guess that's the biggest appeal of a live stream. It's, that's, it's like even... Uh, it's more personal, you know? As opposed to just the video and comments. What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to reach this guy? I don't understand. Am I supposed to go... Okay, I'm definitely supposed to go here. Am I supposed to, like, land on the arrow? How am I supposed to... Vax, is this cool to chill with creators? Hey, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, that's, that's my... One of my... It's a difficult goal, man, like, having a steady live stream audience. Trying to make it entertaining. Because I noticed, like, a lot of it just has to do with the subject matter. Uh, that's what makes a live stream interesting. For me, at least, like, a lot of people, like, if it's Sonic-related, more people watch my content. <laughs> and what's the saddest thing is when you live stream. It, this has happened to me multiple times before. I live stream and no one shows up. Like, it's just so sad. You're just talking to yourself and it, and you sound like an insane person because you're just speaking to yourself and no one's responding back. <laughs> you really sound like Sonic at times. Yeah, I mean... Hey, man, if they need a new Sonic voice, I'll, I'll audition. I think me and Sonic, we have, like... It's like me, Sonic, and uh, SpongeBob. We have, like, a similar tone. I don't know where I'm supposed to... 
do? Wait, where? How am I supposed to? I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Um, like, me, Sonic, and SpongeBob have like similar tone, and that's why like I can do a pretty decent SpongeBob impression. And I can do like a decent Sonic impression. Uh, it's funny because like I'm a grown man, and then I like listen to kids who have like their voices are way deeper than mine, you know. <laughs> What am I eating? My family's bringing chicken teriyaki. I've been trying to gain weight, guys. I'm skinny. I'm a pretty active guy, and I'm trying to build muscle. And I work out, but the thing is, I just need to eat more, dude. Oh, gosh. Can I even make it? I don't think so. I think... It's a race against time, and I lost. It's o it's Jover. Oh, there's no time limit. I know, I think it's Sonic Mania, there's a time limit. When you reach like 10 minutes, like you have to start over. Hey man, yeah, if I have time though, that's the thing. Being like, if I'm like the main character, it might be difficult considering uh, I'm, you know, busy. <laughs> like, but if you need me to like do a cameo for a voice, we can like plan something out. Oh gosh. Hey, let's go. But yeah, I've been trying to gain weight, dude. Just been trying to, like, eat calories. Once I reach my protein, I just try to eat as many calories as possible because I have, like, a fast metabolism. Hey, what's up, North Emulator? How are you doing? Like, I thought, you know, as I grew older, my metabolism would slow down, but... I feel like in many ways it's gotten faster because the more you build muscle, like your, your resting metabolic rate increases. So you burn more fat um, as you gain more muscle. This has nothing to do with Sonic, but someone like that just was my train of thought. Thought, <laughs> thought <laughs> when um, someone mentioned like, what are we eating? That's my- that's how my brain works. Oh. Then you're being- You're tricking us! How can your name be North Emulator if you don't even- I'm just joking. Oh, man. Can you emulate Sonic Unleashed? Can I? I mean, I've never emulated before. I guess I can download it, right? Ooh, speed, baby, speed. Speed, baby, speed! Dude, this looks so cool. I just love how, like, the stylistic choices of these, uh, of these zones. They look so good. It's funny because people are sick of Green Hill Zone. It's like, I'm tired of Green Hill Zone! Give me something new! No, no. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. Like, I appreciate the offer, but what's the point of an Xbox now when so many games are just like so many xbox exclusives i put exclusives in quotes are available on pc and even that there's like people like for example hi-fi rush i think that's the name of the game like it used to be an xbox exclusive and now it's for playstation it's like xbox has plummeted when it comes to being like taking uh dominating the gaming market you know 
Oh gosh, my brain's gonna hurt trying to do this. I'm locked in, folks. That's why there's an awkward silence right now. <laughs> okay. 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 Hey, yo, I did it, I think. <laughs> Okay, uh, anyone got some legal advice? I'm not a lawyer. Uh, gosh. Uh, the only reason I have an Xbox and Jesus is that I can't play any of the old games on PC. Okay, that's real. Yo, like, I built my PC, my first PC I've ever built, in 2021. And it's already slowing down. You know, it's like a basic gaming PC. It's nothing too crazy. But I've thought about, like... Again, I'm going to plug in my Patreon and my YouTube membership. But um, one of the things I want to invest in is, like, just better equipment. Like, I want to... There's the 2021 MacBook. And from what I've researched, the, that... I'm going to try one more time. Uh, The 2021 MacBook is like a beast when it comes to editing like there's no lag whatsoever so i thought about that and you know like if i travel i can just edit on the go as opposed to being just stuck to my desktop you know but um my 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 pc is fine like it it's it's definitely enough for for what i'm doing and my my videos aren't even that I'm gonna try again. This is annoying me. Like, my videos aren't that heavily edited, so I don't really need, like, a supercomputer. It just gets annoying because there are points when you're trying to edit. Like, I use DaVinci Resolve, which, in my opinion, after using Final Cut Pro for the longest time, DaVinci Resolve is the best editing software I've ever used. And the best part is you get so much for free. Like, I don't pay for the premium version of DaVinci Resolve. And in Adobe app, like an Adobe, what's the, uh, what's the uh, editing software for Adobe? But for Adobe, you have to pay a subscription fee. For DaVinci Resolve, you can just use it for free. And if you want the premium version, I think you just pay for it once and then you have it forever. Um, so if you're looking into video editing, guys, and you're looking for like a good video editor, I. I highly, I'm going to try again. I highly recommend DaVinci Resolve. It's such a good tool. I've been using it for a chunk of my videos now at this point. I used to be like a Final Cut Pro kid, but now I'm a DaVinci Resolve man. Yeah. I was doing so well. I think part of the reason why I keep hitting the red ones is because it blends in with the environment. I'm locked in. I'm locked in! Where are you? Oh gosh. Where? Oh, okay, there they are. I thought it said four, not 40, what?
Is it easy building a PC? It took me a whole day. It was my first time. It wasn't bad. It's like building a, a very expensive Lego set, you know? Oh, stupid ads. I try to put, like, limited ads. I might just remove ads for live streams if it really bothers you guys. Uh, for the next live stream, I'll probably just remove ads. I'm currently in a computer engineering course. I'm learning things such as virtualization and building PCs. M clearly, MacBooks are more for film, video, and photo editing. Yeah, MacBooks are great. I mean, PCs, obviously, for gaming, and MacBooks are for... um for video editing, for photography. But uh, as I've learned with video editing, you're really just limited by your imagination. Um, oh, I forgot to pay to you. The thing is like, also, I want to, uh, what's the word? I totally blanked. But yeah, I mean, you're just limited by your, um, I'm going to try one more time. I'm crazy. Uh, <laughs> and if it gets really bad, I'm just going to stop. Like, you're really just limited by your imagination. Like, there's this artist, David Cho, and he said that money rarely solves, like, an artistic issue, you know? It really boils down to the mind behind it, the skill behind uh, the person, um, creating the artistic project <sighs> okay i remember what i was gonna say but yeah it re like i think um what is it uh it really just boils down to the person behind the tool as opposed to the tool itself uh because i saw a tweet recently it's from the editor of dune and it got popular because the equipment he was using was very... I guess it's still pretty expensive, but it's it's not crazy. Like, It just goes to show that you're just limited by your imagination for most of most creative endeavors, you know? Um, and I was going to say, in relation to computer programming, I wish I was good at computer programming, man. I wish I was good at math. I am just terrible at math, dude. I'm not gonna go for that. I missed it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the L. I think I'm gonna say no. <laughs> I'm done. I'd rather you get paid because I want you to become full time. Oh gosh, CMJ, you're so sweet, man. <laughs> but honestly, guys, if if the ads get too annoying, uh, just let me know and I'll remove it. Even then, like the ads that I get in live streams don't even pay that much. So maybe I, I should just remove it. I will always hate algebra. Man, math was my like worst subject, dude. I feel like I can give enough enough time I, I could get pretty decent at math. Cause I, I watch like inspirational videos of these students. Like I used to be terrible at math and I really put the work in and now I understand it, you know? Like I'm I'm better able to to comprehend these concepts. But there's just like I don't wanna like spread myself too thin because uh I have like a lot of interests I want to get good at. Oh, I have to hit the top. So we'll hit the thingy. I understand. Okay. Oh, it did it. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's with a lot of subjects, AJ. Like, like with this philosophy stuff, like, if you just read a book and you practice on the internet and with the with ai being so advanced now with like with chat gpt i use chat gpt a lot to like answer questions or to go through problems it, there are just so many tools now that are freely available for us to learn and to master a, to a subject or a craft
Man, this song is dope. If I truly wanted to, I could have been entirely self-taught, but I wanted the credits for academic purposes. I mean, that's really the point, dude. Like, when it comes to college, I wish I tried more in college. Like, I guess try properly, because I did try, but I just know I had more potential to really excel as a student. I wasn't a bad student by any stretch, but I know, like, I could have been wiser in how I went about um, pursuing my academics. Like, so... That's the thing with college now. It's just so expensive. And um, the main purpose of university is first off the experience of it. Um, and just to get accredited. You know, companies like many companies just like seeing that you were accredited by a certain institution. But I know a lot of uh, IT companies now are moving away from that. Uh, there's a lot of Google accreditation, I think. And... Um, they it what matters more now is like skill and like your resume like are you able to execute what we're looking for as opposed to just like having a degree um i also am a big advocate for community college cuz i did a program in high school where like i don't know if you guys have had it before but i did an early college program so i took community college classes as well as high school classes and that saved a lot of money and a lot of time for me, man. Like, so I graduated college in like two and a half years as opposed to a full four year course. And that was a big help in saving money and saving time. If I were to go back to college, it's funny, like I graduated with an information science degree. But if I were, if I were to do college again, I'd probably do literature because it's only, it's so funny. It's only after school I got really into reading. You know, I love reading now. And, um, but in school I didn't because I didn't like it when teachers forced me to read something. <laughs> um, oh, we're in ice cap zone already? Nice. Here, let me read some of these comments. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let me see. Trying to catch up in the comments, guys. Oh, and before I get forget today, I created my very own superhero after learning how to properly do anatomy, and I'm struggling to give this guy a name. If I showed him on Discord, he can help me pick a name. Yeah, dude. Oh, I'll show you some of my. I I kind of fallen off, but I was inspired by PewDiePie's video, like his drawing challenge. So I started drawing like close to 30 days straight, because I used to draw all the time as a kid. I should get back into it. I, I love drawing so fun of me. I'm just lazy. Oh yeah, I mean there's so many devices like Code Academy and Chat GPT could teach you how to code. I I saw a video like this person was learning how to code I think in Python. Code Python using Chat GPT. Like guys, Chat GPT like use that. That's the that's the that's not even just the future, that's the present. Like Chat GPT is such a I don't think it should be a crutch. But I use I use it as a tool to like um, to answer questions. I use it to help write my video essays. Like I use I use Chat GPT to check my grammar because <laughs> I'm not a grammarian. Oh whatever. Okay, hold on. Let me read these comments. Uh, I also want to learn to edit so I can make YouTube videos like me. Oh, thanks, CMJ. Um, the key to most things, guys, like especially video editing, is like you just got to do it. I recommend CapCut. CapCut's a great video uh, editing software, but also DaVinci Resolve is just terrific. It's such a powerful tool, and you'll learn a lot just by doing, you know. Uh, since I'm indigenous, the government has tried to make it more accessible due to the fact that we were removed from academic spaces for so long. Oh, so you live in a, um, what is it? A, it's a, what's the word? I'm blanking. Like a Native American, uh, it starts with an R. Re, it's not refuge, is it? It's, uh. Res res reservation, that's it, yeah. 
Ice cap, not ice cap. Easy cap. <laughs> Oh, it's easier to use. Yeah. That's interesting. That's cool, man. I just think... I, I, I am kind of, like, envious of people who can, like, just understand math and... Uh well <laughs> like i can't even speak well right now but yeah like ever since i was a kid i'm like i don't know my multiples man i'm freaking out but i somehow managed to get like a b at least or an a i checked my like high school report card recently maybe like a month or two ago and i'm like oh not bad randy good job i did pretty decent i'm not like the best student, but I was a pretty decent student. I did pretty good. I like put effort. But again, as I said earlier, I wish I was, I know I could have studied better, like been more purposeful with it. Cause I, I like part of it now is like why I have such a hunger for learning now is that I'm just more free to explore the topics I'm interested in. And I'm not, I don't feel as much of a pressure to get it right away because i think a uh, a crucial aspect of learning is failing you know like failure is such a powerful tool but i guess with the uh, the current education system we we penalize failure which is a great impediment to learning you know uh, like we foster more um memorization tactics as opposed to learning the subject matter well you know or maybe that's just my like gosh i was doing so well let me try again like that 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 just might be where i'm coming from you know maybe a lot of people are like no nah, i think the education system is is uh fine the way it is I was so close! I'm always so close with these uh, stages, dude. Okay, hold on. There we go. Okay. Where to next? I'm scared. I'm scared! It just come out of nowhere, dude. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Oh, I did it! I got one, finally! Oh, dude, I recently got into JoJo also, man. For the longest time, I've been avoiding JoJo. And I literally, my friend M14, my brother and I, we all like hang out once or twice a week to just binge watch JoJo. And now I'm at part six. It's crazy, man. I love JoJo now. I get it. I get the hype. JoJo is a terrific anime. It's so fun. Uh, I'm gonna read some comments. I've learned Java and it's accessible, but much more detailed sometimes. Code and properly. Who are your personal favorites? Have you ever made your own villain? Oh, one video essay. Speaking of JoJo, I thought about. I've thought about making a video essay in Yoshikage Kira, which is a villain in JoJo, because I find him so fascinating. I haven't really encountered a character like Yoshikage Kira in like any medium ever really he's 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 just so interesting to me 
I love Dio. Dio's so funny. It was me, Dio! And Shredder's dope, man. I used to be so into, like, uh, Ninja Turtles growing up. Oh, I just finished part four. Part four is my favorite. Part four is my favorite. I finished part five and I'm in the middle of part six. Part four is my favorite. I do. So I'm excited to. Part six is cool too. Um, I really like Jolene. She's uh attractive. <laughs> like, I guess. Um, no, but um, no, I think she's a cool character. She reminds me of Legend of Korra or Korra from Legend of Korra. And. After part six, I'm gonna read the manga. Cause people tell me like it's ranked in like uh, these in, in these polls that part seven of JoJo is just considered one of the best mangas ever created. And my brother finished reading it and he thought it was really cool. So I will definitely it's on my high priority list. I will make like a JoJo video essay talking about part seven. Uh, because I'm not going to spoil too much for those who are completely blind, but um, Part 7 has some really interesting concepts that I think warrant a video essay. I haven't... I didn't, of course, I don't want to spoil myself too much, but I've, I don't think I've seen a lot of Part 7 video essays um, that have talked about the, the way I'm going to talk about it. You like Jim? Well, everyone has some weird fondness. I guess I love Jolene. I like Jolene. I don't know. Again, I haven't finished part six, so maybe I'll see why people have uh, mixed opinions on Jolene. I think Jolene's great. Are you like Kira as in Death Note, or Kira as in like Yoshikage Kira? I love Kira, man. I think he's such a He's one of my favorite JoJo characters. I think my favorite... Who is my favorite JoJo character? It might be Kira. Uh, in part 5... Uh, I'm not going to spoil just in case you guys know. There's a guy named Bruno Bucciarati. Definitely top uh, JoJo character. And I love Jotaro. People kind of find him boring, which I can understand. But I don't know. I just think Jotaro is so cool, dude. I think Jodoro is a great character. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. <laughs> this is so bad, dude. Ah. Break through it all! Oh yeah, man, the Sonic Frontiers music was so good. Helen Quinn, man, he killed it. I don't know how he can sing that high, but it's really impressive. I listen to Sonic music when I work out. Uh, there's a lot of bangers, especially the Frontiers soundtrack. Great workout music, dude. Yeah, Jotaro, like, I just, he's just cool, man. I just love him. He, he is like that, he's inspired by Clint Eastwood. And uh, I definitely see that. I watched um, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly recently. Or not recently, like last year. And after watching that movie, I'm like, I now understand why people think Clint Eastwood is so cool. Like, he is just that guy. Like, I don't think he's that far off from the characters he plays in his movies, the cowboy ones. And speaking of westerns, I've been um, reading Blood Meridian, which is a crazy book by Cormac McCarthy. Oh yeah, Death Note is so cool. I watched Death Note last year for the first time. Because I grew up with Death Note. I remember everyone, like, I think around middle school, like, everyone talked about Death Note and how cool it was. But, yeah, when watching Death Note, I'm like, I get the hype. 
Death Note is such a cool movie. Uh, or cool anime, not movie. They made like a Netflix series and from what I've seen, it doesn't look that good. I don't know. I just feel like it's so... It's Compared to other anime adaptations, like Death Note shouldn't be that difficult. Like besides the demons in it, it's... It's a mystery, you know? And you just follow the plot and you'll get a good series. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay, let me read some of the comments. I love going to the Sonic Symphony, the rock concert was fire. Oh, I bet. I bet. Oh, fun fact, guys. Again, this is still in the planning stages. There's a possibility I might go to Paris. <laughs> like, like soon. We'll see, though. We'll see. I'm not sure. Um. Oh, gosh, I'm underwater. Hold on, let me, let me read some of the comments. Uh... Yeah, not gonna lie, there's a girl in my school looks like she just listens to Kellen Quinn on the daily. Yo, emo is back. Especially with the year of Shadow. First we had the, like, the emo scene is back, dude. I think a lot of it has to do with um TikTok. Like, Paramore is back. Um, Flyleaf is back. Uh, Kellen Quinn. <laughs> like, Shadow, the Batman movie. It, emo's back, dude. That, that that's my childhood. Like the emo, like Lincoln Park AMVs of One Piece. That's what I grew up on. Yeah, I was just uh, talking a bit about live action adaptations, uh, about Death Note, how it's easy to adapt Death Note, but they it seems like they botched it. Um, uh, not gonna lie, I hate it on the fact how most people think watching JoJo is gay because of the way it looks. Is, does it, it kind of aggravate? I mean, here's the thing. So, I, I talked about it. I, I want to watch this video essay. I saw it. I put it in my watch later list. It's talking about masculinity in JoJo, right? So, like, it is gay-coded, I guess. Um, There are some scenes where I'm like, I'm not even just making a joke out of it, like, in JoJo, I'm like, this is gay, dude. <laughs> like, part five especially, I'm like, this is kind of gay. <laughs> but, like, I don't know. I like that they're able to have these super, like, I guess traditionally feminine men. But they're also, like, very masculine in their demeanor. Like, I don't want to spoil too much, but, like, Bruno Bucciarati, he's a uh, pretty masculine guy, but... Like, when it comes to his looks, he looks very, very feminine, you know? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna... I'll eat dinner soon. Yeah. Uh, I'll keep streaming. I'll, I'll go down later. I'll play, try one more time. Yeah, I'll live stream until, like, 8 o'clock, guys, and then I'll eat dinner. Um, But, yeah, I mean, I think... Araki, the mangaka, drew heavy inspiration from, like... I mean, he definitely... One one of the reasons why I love JoJo is its artistic inspirations. Like, he take... Like, Araki draws inspiration from um, high fashion. Like, all the JoJo poses. I mean, th those are, like, poses you'll see in these magazines like Vogue and Esquire. And it actually inspired me to level up my fashion game. Um, I think fashion is fun. And I like that um, Araki is able to really be creative with the fashion uh, he, he 
he puts into his characters. Sometimes they go a bit overboard. Like, this is not even a shirt. Like, what is this? <laughs> what is this? But hey, I just like that Araki just seems like he's just having a lot of fun when creating JoJo. You can really feel that in his work. That it's just a, he's like a kid, like, just drawing comics and he enjoys it. Um, I don't know, man. Like, to me, this is kind of off topic. Maybe not politically correct, but, like, to me, I'm so glad I got this emerald. Like, what's the most masculine thing is, like, a guy not caring. Like, these alpha males, like, to talk how to be an alpha male, I'm like... A lot, like, what I consider, like, this is why I like Jotaro. Like, Jotaro to me is a man. Like, Bucciarati is a man because, like, they have, like, confidence in who they are. And, and and that's it. It's like, I know who I am and I'm confident in it. Like, that to me is masculine. I mean, women can be that too. But to me, it's, like, just just the confidence, dude. Just, like, hey, I don't, I don't care if I'm wearing this outfit. Like, this is what I want to wear and I don't care. Like, you know? <laughs> okay, I'm dead. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching, CMJ. I know you live in a different uh, time zone, so I appreciate you, like, spending time in the live stream, dude. Uh, oh, I hear the Godzilla movies are really good. Oh, yeah, with Mohammed Abdul and Joseph. <laughs> I remember that. That was wild. But yeah, I love JoJo, and I can't wait to get into part 7, dude. Like my brother said, it's, uh, I guess it's Araki's most um, mature work in the series. Like, it's just really well written. Because it, it's, it's fun, like, seeing JoJo, um, especially if you look at the manga panels, like, how Araki evolved as, a, as an artist. Like, in, with his writing and with his art, like, with his drawings. It, it's really cool. And when I mention, like, I love how Araki draws inspiration from, like, all art. Like, like high fashion, and he loves Italy. Like, he... Like, uh, the fifth jo JoJo character, um, Giorno, I definitely see inspiration from, uh, Michelangelo's David statue and, um... The Satan painting, that's another one. I, I could see influence that influencing Giorno's design. Um and so much so like uh I think he did a collaboration with Gucci to uh to have his characters like dress up in, in their in their clothing items. I just think that's so cool. It's like, you can really say, like, as silly as jo JoJo is, and that's part of its appeal, it, it, I think it's an example of presenting high art to, uh, to the general audience, you know? That's why I appreciate JoJo a lot. And I just think it's also really funny, and I died again. <laughs> Kirishima from Boku no Hero. I really like Bokugo's drive and inspires me to do better. Yo, like, not gonna lie, I teared up in, like, that one scene where... Kishima's Red Riot, right? Like, when he was, like, sacrificing himself to defend uh, Fat Gum. Like, when he did that scene, I'm like, dude, that is a man. Like, like I, I used to watch that video before I'd work out to, like, inspire me to, like, go through the gym. Like, Kishima just, like... Like, it tears me up when I see that scene, dude. That speech he has with Fat Gum. Oh, gosh, it's so epic. I keep messing. Okay, I'm going to try one more time. I'm going to try one more time. Yeah, his speech with Fatcom, dude. It's crazy. It's just, uh... I love that. I'm going to try one more time. I got to focus.
Okay, one more time. <laughs> I think I'm running out of gas, guys. Not gonna lie. Oh, man. So far, our poll, 72% say that Keanu Reeves is the perfect choice for Shadow That Jog. Oh, you gotta head out. Take care, AJ. Thanks for watching, dude. Uh, I haven't watched Demon Slayer, but I've I've seen clips of the animation and it looks crazy. One more time. Yeah, I I yeah, I guess I was like freaking out. I'm like, don't I have limited lives? But I guess in Sonic 3 you have unlimited lives. Okay, I, I learned it. Okay. I can't glide when I jump on that trampoline thing. Because I, I thought I had to press A again to, like, activate the bounce. See if I can learn my lesson this time. I did. I can get better. And I did that. Oh my. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. I think that's it. Uh, my voice is hurting. I've been talking a lot. I'm gonna drink some water. It is 7.30. I'm getting hungry. I basically live stream for two and a half hours. That's crazy. <clears throat> I think that's it, guys. I think I'm going to call it a night. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching. Let's see the final results of the poll. So 72% think that Keanu Reeves is the perfect choice is out of 46 votes. 2% uh, say they don't like it at all. And 26% of people think that it's just all right. Yeah, guys. I'm excited for Keanu Reeves playing Shadow. It is the year of the Shadow. I think we're going to expect a lot of fun, interesting things coming up for Sonic in general this year. If you don't know me, I'm Ranny. I make videos over analyzing sonic the hedgehog feel free to subscribe and hit that bell icon if you want to be notified of when i post my next video or my next live stream hey mike i'm about to end the stream actually <laughs> um if you haven't heard already i also made a channel membership um and if you want to support me there click the join button under this uh video and you should be give you gives you the option to join and if you become a channel member you get these custom emojis more will be added as we get more members and your own channel badges as well as exclusive content i'll make some exclusive posts for only channel members but the main way to support me is through patreon if you feel so inclined again it is all your choice i appreciate you guys just sticking around watching liking the videos commenting it it means so much to me like just your words inspire me to make better videos for you all but yeah guys i'm calling it a night thank you for listening to me ramble and play poorly on sonic and i hope you all have a wonderful week and who knows maybe i'll live stream soon again and yeah take care have a good night <laughs>